The double serve is a really simple shot, yet so many people have problems with their quality or consistency, or just don't use it to its full advantage. So in this video, we're going to teach you how to do the perfect double serve, look at the different varieties to keep your opponent guessing, and also give you some tactics to win some quick and easy points. So let's get to it. You should aim to make your serve a very simple action so that you can repeat it again and again. The bigger the action, the more that can go wrong. So first, we're going to look at the preparation and we'll start with the way you should hold the racket and the shuttle. You want to start in a backhand grip, holding the racket slightly higher up the grip. This is because it's a shorter lever which will give you more control. Your racket should be around a 45 degree angle not completely vertical and not completely horizontal, as this will reduce your control. You should also allow some space between your racket and your body. Some players like to be quite far out, whereas some players like to be a little bit more closer to their body. You should play around with this and do what's comfortable for you. You should hold the shuttle like this, with your thumb and index finger around halfway down the feather. This is so that you have a good grip, but also that you can get your fingers out of the way in time. You can also hold it using your index finger and middle finger. It's just personal preference. Just don't hold it by the cork. The angle of the shuttle is also really important. You should hold it around this angle. If the cork is facing downwards when you're hitting, then you've got more chance of it popping up at the net and your opponent killing it at you. Whereas if it's facing too much towards your body, then you've got more chance of hitting it in the net and if you face it too much towards the side, then you lose control of the shuttle. The final section of the preparation is your stance. The most common way is to have your racket leg further forwards. However, you can also stand with your feet side by side or even your non-racket leg further forwards. It's whatever feels most comfortable to you whilst also being ready to move as soon as you serve. And where should you stand? You want to stand as close to the service line as possible as this is the shortest distance so your opponent has less time to react and you can quickly move to cover the net. This is of course unless you are playing mixed or singles where you would stand further back. Here you have the same technique, you just need to add a little bit more power. So moving on to the hitting action, you want to start with the shuttle on the strings and then go backwards and forwards in one motion. A key point for this is not to have a big backswing or a big follow through. A big backswing means it's going to be harder to time the shot and a big follow through means you might hit it too hard or just be less ready for the next shot. A huge mistake we see lots of people make is throwing the shuttle up as they serve. You should hit it directly out of your hand as this will massively increase the control of the shuttle and the accuracy of the serve. As you strike the shuttle, you don't actually want to hit it directly in the middle of the racket. You want to hit it at the edge, and this is for two reasons. Firstly, if you strike it in the middle of the racket, then you're more likely to hit your hand, which will decrease the quality of the shot. And secondly, the string bed is firmer in the corner of the racket, which offers more control of the shuttle. So around here, you only need to use your fingers, thumb and wrist to create the limited power required. And on the flick or drive serve, you simply squeeze these a little bit more to create that additional power you need. And this is the first time the flick and low serve is different. Everything up until this point should be identical. For the low serve, the ideal is that you want to get the shuttle dipping down as it crosses the net. This is so that your opponent can't get on top of the shuttle and attack it and they're either forced to play an upwards shot or even a lift. Everyone has a slightly different serving technique, but if you follow this advice, then you should get a consistent serve that you can always rely on. Now, where should you serve to? So there are seven main zones that you can serve to. The T, the middle or body, out wide, a flick down the line, a flick out wide, a drive down the line and a drive out wide. So now you know how to serve and where to serve, you need to think about why you're serving to a certain area and what you expect your opponent to play from this. We love this aspect of the game and we could talk about it for quite some time, but we're going to outline three common low serve set plays for you to win some quick points. First is a serve to the body. For a right hander, this would be from the right box to their right shoulder. The natural swing would be a cross-court shot, so you can look to intercept this. Equally, if you're serving to a left-hander, you'd serve from the left box to their left shoulder, and again, you'd look for the cross-court return. 
second is serving to the tram line, a low out wide serve. The natural return would be a straight shot and usually a net shot. The other natural return is a cross court lift, which your partner can be ready for. If they high lift straight, your partner should still be able to get this. The third set play is a simple tee serve and you take a chance on the net shot return. This is so simple, but it's surprising how many times we see this at the top level. Serve return is a game of cat and mouse. For example, if your opponent's just played a flat return of serve and you intercept it, then the next time they may play a net return, in which you can then get on and predict. You should also keep your serves varied so that your opponent can't guess and jump on the serve. So we've covered how to hit a good, consistent backhand serve and also some tactics that you can use to win some quick and easy points. If you want to know more about the service rules, then check out this video here and make sure you subscribe to our channel here so you don't miss any future videos such as our top doubles returns. See you on another video. Mm -hmm.